Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here on Vanilla FM. And we are continuing with the Hereford save for FM23. Last time, we just looked at the team and we created a tactic a tactic based on the existing squad for Hereford, so the real players that play for Hereford at the moment. And next, I'm going to have a look at the staff. I usually like to max this out and find the best people for the job. Um, I'm going to start by filling out the gaps, and then eventually I might look at to see... Oh, no, actually, I'll start with that. I like to sometimes see if there's any staff that we can replace, but they're at the moment actually all on a full contract, so we can't do that. Therefore, we are going to start by looking at some of these roles. I'm not sure if I'm going to get a director of football, but we're still going to get uh, a head of youth, a head of performance analysis. Uh, I'll work on increasing the number of coaches so we can keep all of those. And the same thing goes for performance um, analyst. I'm going to get a scouting team together and a uh, head physio as well. So let's get on with that. So first of all, head of youth development. So the way I normally do this is go to role, um, staff role, and it is, or at least partially, a head of youth development. And I pick the attributes that youth development should have. And decrease that amount. Actually, I also need to, oh yeah, uh, include Hereford staff in this, just in case. And I go for someone that I can hire who's currently unemployed or out of contract. So we have two options here. We have Matthew Bishop. And as a head of youth, uh, he's got quite good working with youngsters. Not so good um, scouting. And Kevin is pretty much the same all the way around. So I'm going to try and hire Matthew. And I want you to be a head of youth development. How's that going to go down? I'll decrease this a little bit. Okay, fine. Next up, we're going to look at having a head of performance and analysis. Head, a head analyst. And we're going to look for head analyst attributes. until we get some options. Uh, sometimes the options that appear um, aren't great or they might um, not even be interested in move moving to us, but by having those options clicked earlier in the menu, then um, it should, in theory, give us uh, some people that might be within our... Okay, this is annoying. This is when you have to start adding bonuses and stuff. Although I very much doubt this guy will um, uh, want to come to us. It doesn't matter how much we offer him. I mean, I could offer a silly amount, which I will. Nah, still not worth it. Okay. All right, so we have Jordan. And we have Massimo. Um, maybe Jordan might be better. Yeah, let's go with this guy. So, head performance analyst. And a suggest, and he's fine. Okay. So, we've got that covered. Next up, we will look at uh, the scouting team. So, we need a chief scout and two scouts. So, that should be straightforward enough. We're going to go to recruitment, scout, and scout. chief scouts and scouts have the same attribute. I actually am going to turn off ad adaptability just because it's not really important for the level of scouting we can do at the moment. So we've got two candidates and then a few more if we go down the list. Okay. Right, so Let's look at those first two. First, we've got this guy, who is happy to be a scout. And we've got this guy, who's also happy to be a scout. Okay. And then if you go down, 
we also have I need to actually put this in order so order of ability followed by order of potential ability followed by adaptability and we have this guy who's a manager does he want to be a scout actually is he in the original list yes he was uh, Michael Vermont recruitment analyst that's what he wants to be and this guy a scout so I think I'm gonna go with uh, actually, let me try and offer this guy a scouting role first of all. See if he accepts it. Do you accept this? Yes. Great. Okay. And now we offer this guy the chief scout role. And this guy the scout role. Okay, that's done. Now all we need is a head physio, so I'm going to pick the physio attributes, which is just physiotherapy really. And then we're going to go to physio. Okay, so we had some... There isn't real, really much to go on. We've got Miles and we've got Jessica. And there's something quite good about having a female uh, staff in this game. There aren't many females because they don't have the female leagues. So I think I'm gonna offer uh, Jessica the role. So here we go. Oh no, um, let me adapt that contract, change contract. I want you to be the head physio. Here we go. Okay, so now I think that's all of it covered. Uh, we'll circle around. We'll circle back around for this director of football. Uh, I don't always use it. Sometimes, but not always. But I do want to have a look at the under 18. So we've got neither an assistant manager and a coach. So let's go to staff, coaching assistant manager. Let's pull up the assistant manager attributes. We need to exclude. First team in the reserves from this search. So only people that are interested in youth level coaching are pulled up. So we've got Alan. And we've got Tom. And we've got Jason. And I think I'm going to go for Alan. So, uh, yeah, okay. There we go. And now we need the coach, and for that I'm actually going to wait. I'm not going to uh, go for a coach just yet because I want to see um, what 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 this guy brings to the table. Uh, I'll 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 show you in a minute. So next, um, let's go ahead and uh, I didn't and I didn't end up offering anything to this guy, so I'm just going to cancel that. Great. Uh, monthly staff meeting. I'm not going to decide on that yet. Uh, yeah, why not? Let's do all these. Uh, okay. Week of foot. Sure, why not? Nope, I'm not going to fill those in just yet because I'm working on it. Okay. Code of conduct, so I'm going to confirm that. Um, staff induction, introduce yourself to the staff, to the squad rather. Um, I'm not going to make any promises right now. And what is my objective? Record a top half finish. Okay. Okay, FA Cup, there we go, and that's all done. Of course the board are going to reject all my requests, but we're going to keep asking for different things, so we're going to increase that bit. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to go through it in order, to be honest. I, 
think at the moment they're not going to really um, accept any of my requests. We've got a new head physio and we've got a new scout. A new under 18's assistant manager. And a chief scout. Okay, so now that we have that assistant manager, let's have a look at training for the under 18s. Training. So, at the moment, for removal, we've got a goalkeeping coach, a fitness coach. These, these come from the senior squad. The manager is good at tactical, and the assistant manager is good at technical. Um, and then basically I fill everything else because I have to. So it might be a good idea to get a under 18's goalkeeping coach. That's probably all we need at the moment. Right, so going back to stuff, we're going to look for a goalkeeping coach. And we're actually going to look at the handling only. Um, okay. Mike Price is a player. And this is the best we can get, I suppose. So we are going to offer him a staff only role. And we're going to go for under 18's coach. There we go. Okay. So we've got most of our stuff now. We've got that head physio. Uh, we've got the scouts in place. Just missing these two. Uh, and then as soon as they come in, I'm going to look at this director of football. Um, role as well. In the meantime, I'm going to ask for more things. Um, hoping that I'll get somewhere with it. Okay. Well, looking back at scouting, scouting has changed a little bit in this game. Recruitment focuses and scouting priorities. Scouting assignments is different. I don't think we can set assignments anymore. No. Okay, so in this case, I'm gonna actually change in the staff responsibilities. Scouting, I'm gonna delegate the focus and delegate the meetings as well. Um, and anything else I can change? Team talks. I thought I'd done these. Maybe I didn't press save. Uh, tactics. Uh, I might change these as soon as I get um, some more coaches in. Yeah, I think I didn't save these. Okay. All oh, right. Okay. So here I might change some things. Got Lewis. I haven't got much of an option for these. Okay. Okay. continue. Uh, don't really want to talk to the media to be honest. So, let's look at the squad for a minute. And 
three players out of contract, one advertises as loan. We definitely don't want to do that. There we go. We've got all of our stuff now. Right, so what I want to do now is look at attributes and look at motivation. 13, okay. So we're going to get our head of youth to do the team talks. Probably the instructions as well, actually. Yeah, the instructions as well. And then tactics. stuff and um, let's see I think nothing else in advice no oh he could be better for the development as well okay confirm and now if we go back to that list again, so we've got 13 and 6, motivation and tactical knowledge. I'm going to try and find a director of football that is better. So, director of football, now we're going to remember to put in all these. And we want to have one that's got motivation and technical knowledge, tactical knowledge. I can't remember how big the tactical knowledge was. Let's go back. 6 and 13. So there's no one that has both. Okay, there are no director of footballs. Football. No directors of football that are better than my, our current head um, youth development, so they won't be able to do any better job with media and team talks and things like that. So I'm going to leave that space vacant for now. We save on staff a little bit and. As the days goes on, I'm going to try to ask for more coaches and stuff so we can keep these people on as well. Uh, okay, should be able to ask for more stuff now or in a minute. So we're going to ask for more things. Senior affiliate, that could be interesting. Okay, that's a no. Uh, under 21's team. We don't really need it at the moment, but I'm going to ask for it anyway because it gives us extra coaches. Um, we could buy the stadium. That could be cool. Alright, let's go with that. They're probably all going to be rejected. Um, da -da -da. Okay, I don't really, really want to do these meetings, to be honest. Fantastic. Right. Team selection. I think I've already selected a team. So I'm just going to fill it up with subs now. Uh, oh, I have. Okay, good. And why not finish this episode with a taste of what um, the team could be like. I haven't actually had time to mess with these, so let's have a look. Hit early crosses, place for set pieces. Let's just start like this. I am going to look at what captains we've got. Okay. Penalty takers. And set piece takers, they've got no one. Alright, so throw in. Uh, we're gonna have Luke on both sides. Followed by Aaron if needs be. Followed by Jared on the right. I can't remember where this guy goes, so let's leave it for now. Um, attacking corners. 
corner and passing crossing so we're gonna have these three they are the best and on free kicks so we have direct free kicks where you want a long shot direct free kicks we'll look at passing and crossing instead so now for uh, wide free kicks we probably want to look at crossing it might give us the same three players slightly different order probably um, and then deep we're gonna look at passing so again it's probably the same three players but in a slightly different order and let's go ahead and do a cheeky match. It's a friendly. Um, we have a slightly different me uh, view here of the feedback. For our tactics, team talk's been handled. And this is the f my first view uh, here on Valina FM of the match engine for this year. So we are playing away from home. There aren't many people in the stadium. It's quite a good view, actually. Quite a good engine. So it is raining in wherever we are. I don't know what this club is. Um, <clears throat> let me just look at the settings. So I usually like to play with slightly faster speed, only with key highlights. Um, mm, replays on, replays of goals, disallowed, offside goals, uh, missed penalties, clear cut chances, goal tight tech, or tight off shots. But probably. I'll take that away. And that's it, I think. So I'll make the, the, the match go slightly faster as well. So we are exposing our players to the first ever um, match. I need to find another uh, player to play in the right side of defense, or is it the left side? I can't remember. So I'll be looking for that soon in the next episode. I'll be looking for a new um, left wing back. I don't know what this means. Momentum, what does that mean? I mean, I understand what momentum means, but I just don't understand that graph. <laughs> that's a very good pass. And that's a very good goal. Here's the uh, central midfielder. C central midfielder. There we go. Slightly, still recovering from a cold, so voice is a bit strange. Right there we go. So uh, we are winning. Shall we put on our other players? We don't have someone to play in the right side, in the left side of the fence, but we'll substitute everybody else just to see what they're all about. That's the right way around. Let's go for it. So now let's see what everyone else is all about. And we have, oh, nearly a goal there by Masideko. 
Ryan Lloyd with a very good performance in this match. It is only a friendly match and it seems to be a quite a low level team. Lower level than us. So it's not really much of a judgement of what we'll be like in the season. And again, as I said in the first episode, I'm not gonna change a team at all until after January. Uh, I am gonna get a defender for the left side, only because we don't have anyone that can be a substitute, so I'm gonna get an extra player now. But other than that, I'm gonna play exactly the same players that we have now. Just use those. So these are the real players that play for Hereford at the moment. Uh, I usually keep a squad of 22. Everyone else has been demoted to the youth team. And I am going to probably cancel a couple of those contracts because um, some of those players are older than 18 years old, so they won't be able to play in the league anyway. Okay, so we've got a better momentum graph now. So I think if it goes down, it's the white bar, so it's us. And I think now they are gaining some momentum, I think. I think that's what that means in that graph. Very good goal. So at the moment, attack is working quite well. I think it's, it's it was a good call to have two strikers with slightly different roles. So they can pass between them in the box. Very good. So yeah, so momentum is only towards us. Now towards Syllabi Rangers. That's where it is. So it's looking good for us in this match. I don't even know where these this other team plays. In the country and in the leagues. Probably a non-league team. We've got a penalty here. And beating the keeper. Very simple penalty. I think he waited for the keeper to go down. Alright, and there we go. That was the first view at Hereford as they are. Uh, I am going to make some changes as the seasons goes on. The whole point of this save is to take Hereford as far up the leagues as possible. So if you want to stay tuned, don't forget to subscribe and also uh, get notifications. Thanks so much for watching. Until the end, take care. Bye-bye.